In today's video, we're talking about how to build stamina when you're solo. When you're starting out, it's easy to get caught up in the moment and think you're playing epic guitar solos when you're not. That was my experience back in the day when I was first learning the electric guitar. And it wasn't until I filmed myself playing a solo that I realized I was just playing a whole bunch of short little phrases, little licks with lots of space in between. It wasn't the epic solo that I was envisioning in my head. As I was playing, I was so caught up in the moment. I was thinking, ah, oh, sounds awesome. Thinking where I'm gonna go next. I didn't really have that sense of what I was playing actually sounded like. I decided I needed to improve my soloing stamina. So first we've got to ask ourselves, what is stamina as it relates to the guitar? Well, it essentially works the same way as it does with exercise. Let's say I have a simple little riff. It's not hard, but if you're starting out and I asked you to play that for five minutes with zero mistakes, that might be a different story. I wouldn't be phased by that, but I've got a lot more stamina when it comes to playing licks like this on the guitar. When you're starting out and you don't have that stamina, playing the same lick for five minutes without making any mistakes might seem like a bit of a task. <laughs> It's not that I'm so much better than someone who's starting out. It's just a simple riff, after all. The difference is just that I have more stamina. It's like if you're trying to improve your distance running. If you haven't gone running before, you're probably not going to be able to go out there and run an entire marathon. Maybe you start running one kilometer every day. Maybe the next week you run 1.1 kilometers small increments but you do this every week increasing your distance over time you're going to get to the point where you can run a whole marathon you've improved your stamina what seemed really scary because of the volume of <laughs> distance you had to run it's not it's not as big of a deal anymore it's the same thing when it comes to guitar playing so the idea of stamina is really important to keep in mind for all aspects of our guitar practice. You know how people do sets at the gym. They might do three sets of 10 reps rather than 30 reps in a row. It's important to keep this principle in mind when you're practicing. If you're working on a riff, if you're working on developing something, don't just repeat it again and again with no breaks. Let's say I was working on this riff. Let's say I was working on that. Instead of doing this, like just playing it again and again, what you want to do is stop. Take a breath between takes. Allow yourself to reset. Otherwise, you'll drain your stamina, get frustrated with yourself, and find you start making a whole bunch of mistakes. When students are starting out, they'll often get frustrated because they could play a strumming pattern for one bar, but realize they have trouble doing it over four bars. That's one bar. Maybe the student's nailing that strumming pattern over one bar, but if they try and do it over four bars, Maybe they make a mistake at the end. Now this doesn't mean that they don't have a sense of rhythm. It just means they might only have the stamina for one bar at the moment. Maybe two bars. So just practice for one bar while you're developing your stamina. Then go to two bars. Then go to three bars. And as your stamina increases, you'll be able to get to four bars. Stamina and soloing. When I realized that my solos were made up of a whole bunch of short phrases, I decided I would practice playing indefinitely without stopping. I would try not to miss a beat. It would most likely sound like trash, but that wasn't the point. The point 
was to practice improving my stamina so I didn't just fizzle out after one quick lick. I still think this is one of the best things you can do to improve your stamina while soloing. You can do this with any scale, any beat division you want. To start with, you might just practice eighth notes in pentatonic pattern one, for example. You can do it with a click or a metronome, but your goal is just to move around without stopping. If you're already confident with that, you might try triplets while moving through all five patterns. You can really apply this principle to anything. The important thing is that you don't stop. So let's talk about some variations that we can do to this not stopping exercise. Once you've gotten good at playing indefinitely without stopping, here are some things you can do to make it a little harder. If you're practicing with multiple positions, try using no more than three strings before you shift to another position. What this will do is force you to think about moving horizontally around the neck. Think about targeting certain notes or certain chord tones on key beats. Playing non-stop means there's no variation in the rhythm, but that doesn't mean we can't use other melodic or harmonic tools to create structure and variation. Try practicing using pairs of strings. This will force you to practice moving horizontally within the very limited context of a specific string set. <laughs> There are probably endless variations you could do with this exercise to limit yourself and force creativity. So leave a comment if you can think of another great variation we could use to practice this way. Leave a comment, like the video, subscribe to the channel, let me know what you want to learn, and I'll catch you guys next time.